Hello friends, welcome back to another tutorial of Yosemite Topics. Today I'm talking about a bar chart and how you can calculate mean, median, and mode from that bar chart. Okay, so the question is, you, you're going to have a graph like this and the question is going to say, what is the mean number of UTI in children in this population? Okay, so that is our question. That's what we're trying to achieve. So instead of median, you, they can have mean or they can have mode depending on the question. So let's try to do all of them. All right, so let's orient ourselves with the graph here. On the x-axis, we have the number of UTI infection in this population of children in about a year. And on the y-axis is the number of children, okay? All right, so what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to take down the number and see and, and then arrange them in uh, ascending order. In these kind of questions, I always put it in ascending order, and, and I'll tell you why. Uh, first, to arrange my values. So, first of all, this is about 50. Okay, this is about 50. Um, sorry, 55. So, 55 times 0 is 0. So, I have 0 here. The next one is about 40. 40 times 1 is 40, so I have 40 here. And then 70 times 2 is 140, and 55 times 3 is 150. So I have these number all laid down. Now, I have to find the mean of this number. How can I find the mean of this number? I divide, I add this number all together. First of all, always remember that put it in ascending order. And for, I put this value together, and then I add them, and I get 333. 330 number. Okay, and this is going to be divided by the number of population that's in this graph. So how can I find that? It's right from the graph here, the y-axis. So 55 plus 40 plus 70 plus 55. Okay, so they're all here. And then I divide this number by this number, and this is my mean. Okay, simple. Let's go to the median now. This is where the ascending part is very important because we have to find the midpoint of the two numbers, okay? Actually, we have to find the midpoint. So let's say there were five numbers and you could have picked the third number. Let's say, you know, let's imagine that there was 45 here, okay? So we're gonna go to the top number where you multiplied the UTI with the population, not the number of population. This is not the numbers you're gonna look at when you're looking at median. You're gonna multiply the X and the Y and that is the, that is, this is the part you're gonna look at for, for calculating the median. Okay, so let's say, let's imagine that there was five graphs and they asked you what was the median. You could have said 45, okay? But this is not the case. We have, uh, we don't have an e e odd number, we have an even number. So for an even number like this, we take the middle two values, so in this case it's 40 and 140, and divide it by two. So this is going to be 40, plus 140 divided by 2, okay? And the answer is going to be 180 divided by 2 is 90. Okay, so that is going to be our median. Understood? All right, so let's talk about mode. I wasn't sure if 